Speedboat Maniac guys coming at you. So listen, we're actually here at the Fountain Factory. Just trying to like establish, you know, where we're gonna set up. Stop by Joey Griffin's and visit with him a little bit. And no, I couldn't really get any of that on on film. Um, people are a little uncomfortable with uh, cameras, publicity, or whatever. And, and Joey is one of those guys where he's just really laid back and, and super uh, humble. And he ain't much on cameras and interviews and stuff like that. And I did ask. So. Uh, he said, best place to go is down to Reggie's house. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Go knock on the door? At I'm here. Is there any way? Uh, I'm Speedboat Maniac. I got a fountain and I love you. I've had four fountains. Is there any way I can watch the kilo run from your backyard? He's like, he don't care. Go ahead and ask him. That's what Joey said. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, come on. I just want to watch it. Maybe get a little bit of footage, but I know if we're going to be far away from wherever the action is, it's going to be hard to bring you guys in on the fold. But I'm here in Washington, North Carolina at the Fountain, Donzi, Baja, and there is Pro Line written down on the building still, too, uh, down that way. But I don't know if they're still doing Pro Lines, or Pro Lines is, is a different company now entirely, even though they might be leasing the space. But I know that this was, several years ago, called Powerboat Headquarters. Um, Fountain Donzi Baja Pro Line. Anyway, that's enough for now, guys. I appreciate you coming along, and we're going to do what we can to get you guys on board to check out this Kilo run. And they're going to live stream it a couple hours later. Now, again, today is Friday. It's only about 10.30 and then Friday. The Kilo run is tomorrow, and I believe they start. I don't know if the run is actually at 7, but they probably start, you know, clearing out the river for three miles each direction. Uh, they cut the entire Pamlico River off in that section. No boats, no traffic, no nothing to keep down on wake and things like that and boat traffic for safety, obviously. So that's what's going on. I'm excited, a little bit nervous. Talking to Joey, and it's not like inside information or anything, but I, I spent only about 10, 15 minutes with him. He was busy. They're working on engines. He's got a couple guys in there grinding away on cylinder heads and porting them out. I was watching them. It was pretty neat. But Joey said... You going to the kill run? And I said, the, ki the kill run? I said, no, the kilo run. He goes, you mean the, the kill you run? He said, all it takes is that boat to start chine and walking a little bit, and you got dead man. I, oh, man, I don't like talking like that, but he's right. I mean, this quest for speed by Fountain in 2004, when they did it 171 miles, outer limits <clears throat> in 2014, um, 180 miles an hour. And now Fountain's got to do 180 plus in order to gain this record. It is dangerous, but no risk comes no reward. But hopefully everybody will be safe. They've spent eight months, nine months now, I think, since they made the announcement back in July and August at the Lake of the Ozarks at the big fountain hubba. So they've been working on this for, you know, eight or nine months on this particular boat. And they just got the motors in it, obviously, a week or two ago, and they're dialing it in. As you guys know, Ben Robertson, he stepped aside. It'll be Jeff Harris and Reggie Jr.'s son, Reggie the Third, on the wheel, and the throttles will be Jeff Harris. Joey said, I tried to talk him out of it. I said, talk who out of it? I guess Jeff Harris is good friends with Joey Griffin. So good luck to everybody involved. And again, hopefully we guys, we get you some footage. So guys, I'm here on the side lot. Um, and there's a lot of uh, really cool um, molds. So just a quick glance.
pretty cool. I've been here before several years ago when we were on our way down to Florida. We stopped in and drove through the lot. It's really interesting how they construct the hull molds and the top decks and all that um, out of iron. The shape, the basic shape of them before they lay them up with the fiberglass. It's really cool. So, some added information for you guys. Speedboat Maniac always coming at you guys. Turn right onto Wichards Beach Road. So guys, I found a location. Now, I have to just kind of settle in and find <clears throat> where's going to be a good spot. And again, a lot of this is privately owned, private property. It's, it's, it's private communities down here. Uh, a lot of these homes are <clears throat> obviously duh, right on the water on Wichards Beach Road and Beach Road. But that's basically where the kilo run is going to be held. So I have to find a spot that I'm not going to get kicked out or somebody's going to have a hard time. And again, listen, we're down here in the country. A lot of these people down here are a little laid back, but some of them might come out with shotguns and be like, can I help you, sir? Which with your lawn chair and your umbrella? Like, I'm just watching. Turn right onto Wichert's Beach Road, then turn right onto Beach Road. Okay, Esmeralda or Bertha, whoever you want to call a navigation lady. But they might come out and say, oh, yeah, it's fine. You can stay there or just sit right here or whatever. So, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. We found out where it's going to be. And I just have to see what's going on with regard to where they're setting up the buoys. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, support boats out there. And I would guess, obviously, divers, medics, and blah, blah, blah. But, again, not today. And I don't know if they're testing today. It's possible, but I don't have inside information. So... But anyway, good good news. We kind of find out found out about where it's going to be held and and where it's visible from. Trick is is getting in and you know not getting kicked off of private property. So we'll see how it all goes, man. I'm just playing it by ear, by the seat of my pants. So. Yep. Well, she waved to me, so. That must not be too bad. Okay. We're excited. I don't know what to think, man. I'm, I'm like excited, anxious, nervous all at the same time. And not just for the kilo run, but everything that goes along with, you know, finding a place to get. I mean, you know, if you don't, if you're not part of the, like, the clan or whatever. Turn right onto Beach Road. Then you will arrive at your destination. You're just another goofball trying to watch a fast boat go down the river. Nobody cares about your YouTube channel and what you're doing, your speed boat, whatever. They don't care. So continue on Wichards Beach Road for one and a half miles. Continuing on Wichards Beach Road. Thanks, Bertha. So we're here, guys, again, just setting up camp. pretty much right down through there. Um, again, it's a matter of just getting the situation comfortable. See what we got. Pretty much see where it's going to happen. So, got to get up right and early tomorrow. Find a spot. See what's going on with it. Guys, so I just talked to a local gentleman that lives in the neighborhood on this back side over here. But he said that, you know, a lot of people, not that it makes it right, wrong, or indifferent, said we'd probably be okay. There's a vacant lot right here, and a lot of people will watch it from this area. So that's pretty much it, and we're, uh... Oh, ferocious, don't want to get you. Sound like Jack, box your socks off. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. We'll feel it out, man. We got to get up early tomorrow. We want to set up the GoPro. GoPro don't pick up a whole lot from a distance. And uh, set up my trusty uh, Samsung 7 and roll with it. In the old historic town of uh, 
Washington, North Carolina, home of Fountain Power. I'm sure they got some cool old restaurants and whatnot. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, pretty neat old water town. But we're gonna see what the kilo run's gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna try to grab a sandwich or a salad or something and uh, check it out. So. Greenhead ducks come to visit me. Speedboat Maniac coming at you guys. So listen, guys, the plot. We are using walking navigation, which might not give the best route. Using walking navigation? Okay. So, I decided to come through the downtown, um, I guess it would be the east side of the Pamlico River. Ish. I don't know, northeast, but I know it's not like west because the sun's, the sun's setting over that way. So anyway, what am I, Indian or something? So, I found another place on the opposite side of the river and I just had a really nice conversation with a real estate agent that actually is listing a house that's for sale and there's a vacant lot next to it. Now again, he didn't give me permission to go out there but he said, I'm sure it would be fine. I'm sure the lady's not going to matter or the lady won't mind, it won't matter. But he didn't give me permission, he just he mentioned that to me. So anyway, Guys, it's at 7 o'clock in the morning for the 19th time. Who knows what's going to happen with it. But let's take a look and see what this lot looks like. And it's right across from Reggie Fountain's house on the opposite side of the river. Let's take a look and see. So we'll have to see how good it is. Hard to say, I gotta make a decision on where we're gonna do this at. Where do we find a spot to set up that's not gonna be intrusive and we can watch the kilo run for an hour or two in the morning. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. They're out here testing. I knew they would be out here running. I don't know how far down they ran, but guys, look. I just saw it go by. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Guys. Guys. Oh my goodness. And I got permission from the real estate agent. I don't know if this is the boat or not, guys. I'm pretty sure it is. Guys, I, I, I got I got some of the kilo boat. I got some of it. So it just went down. I don't know if they're gonna run again or what's going on. Man. Oh my god. 
gosh. Oh my gosh. Please come back down again. Okay. It's just putting along doing 60, 70 miles an hour. And it was throwing a 60, 75 foot rooster tail up in the air and back two, three hundred feet behind it. I missed one way. It was going down as I was pulling out, guys, that way with the car, and it was going down that way. I hope she comes again. Please tell me it's coming again. Nope, it just went behind the little cut in there where the factory's at. So guys, across the way, right, is Reggie's home, right there. Here's what the realtor told me. He goes, the one with the gold roof, that's Reggie's house. So, guys, that's what's going on, man. I'm excited. So let me go across the street and talk to these neighbors because he would, uh, Mayhew is his name. Real nice guy. He said, come on over and meet the neighbors across the street. They're all going to be coming over and looking in the morning. So I'm going to go across now and meet them. So I don't know if... You think I was going to run the daggone boat as excited as I am? We'll see you guys. Oh. Guys, so I've been invited by Mr. Marshall and his wife, I forget her name already, to come on their property in their pier and watch it. Now we're on the opposite side of the river from the fountain dealership. But look at this beautiful property and all the the gypsy moss, the Spanish moss on the trees and everything. Huh? It's the Pamlico River, guys. They're so gracious. I'm going to set out here on the pier. And who knows, they might not test. They might test. It all depends, huh? We'll see. Amazing. They were so nice and gracious. They told me I can be here tomorrow morning. 7 o'clock. We'll see if they're going to test any more tonight when the sun goes down. It'll be cool. Been so very blessed to be able to do this. We'll see. Everybody, I don't know those other gentlemen, they were across the river on that other property. But Reggie's, Reggie's house is the one with the gold roof. Side. So we'll take a look and see, guys. Look at this out here. <laughs> 